Old Missouri County will be getting millions of dollars, and it's all in hopes of boosting the local economy. WGEM's Claire Edlin joins us in studio with why they are getting that money. Claire? Daniel, it's happening in Lewis County, and it's for industrial development. Site officials say it can now be used to its full potential. I can't thank Congressman Sam Graves and Brian and Sarah for the work they did to uh, help this get across the finish line. Lewis County Port officials say this barge dock is doing the work of 75 semis. Now they want to work smart, not hard. Becoming a part of that container on vessel and container on barge services, I think. Industrial Development and Port Authority says they got an $11 million nationwide grant to build a new dock and more on this multimodal site, a piece of property that could now bring in dollars and attract business. Five or six times a year, I get requests for information from site selectors who are looking to utilize uh, river and rail and highway access. Martin says this buildup will also help existing businesses and farmers nearby. And if they get the container uh, ship being going here, that could be one thing that could be very beneficial to this area because containers aren't something that's found generally this far north in Missouri. Farmer Brian Munslinger says ports like these need the supplies he could sell to them. Uh, whether it's, uh, you know, seed, uh, uh, fer fertilizer. Officials say these railroad tracks here are going to be an integral part of the multimodal process and it can save the millions of dollars by them already being here. And behind me here is where the dock will go. We've got all the all the boxes uh, checked. Martin says they also plan to build a two-mile access road and a conveyor system to handle cargo. Be part of the the new trend of what uh, what could be possible on the Upper Mississippi River. Dollars, a hundred thousand of that coming from the county, and the rest from MoDOT. Daniel. All right. Thank you, Claire. Martin says they expect to be finished in about two years.